welcome to we'll, we'll figure, figure it out. out today we're gonna figure out budgeting for unexpected expenses so we're gonna sit here and we're gonna talk and talk and talk and talk and you're gonna talk my ear off aren't you i might just talk it off or bite it oh no here we go again <laughs> first things first one of the children needs to have surgery. Jeremy's youngest, Jordan, needs to have his gallbladder out. It was a bit unexpected. Well, he's been getting tests done and stuff, so we kind of knew it was coming, but not like... We weren't expecting it to, you know, happen like, you know, now. <laughs> yeah. So before he started going to the doctor, we had no idea what was coming up. So, But we've kind of been getting ourselves ready for it, knowing that something was wrong and he was going to need something fixed. So, But it's his gallbladder. little backstory, kind of to explain our budgeting system, I guess you would say. So we, every month, have a spreadsheet. Actually, it's for the year, but it's broken down monthly into our expected expenses and we know what's coming up every month so when we have unexpected expenses what we have to do is go over to our savings look i'm doing air quotes they can't see me you keep doing it are I you know. doing that subconsciously <laughs> i guess so all right so we have savings quote unquote since you can't see me that we have to kind of rearrange to see where we're going to pull money from to be able to afford for Jeremy to go see Jordan because Jordan lives like nine hours away. Yeah. So he wants to go there and be there for the surgery, which is understandable. So we have to figure out where we're going to get money from in our budget and or our quote unquote savings. Yeah. <laughs> Some people call it sinking funds, you know, so we have in our savings, we have different categories that we have money assigned to so that when unexpected things come up like this we will have some money to pull from so we do have a savings category for medical which we don't have populated enough money in to cover everything right now so no we don't so we have to figure out where the rest of it's going to come from but we don't know exactly what's going to cost for the surgery either. So we still have to wait for that to uh, come through. But he also has some expenses from testing that I guess we'll have to get with Stacy and figure out how she wants to handle that. Yeah. So I guess we're going to have to have a co-parenting powwow. <laughs> and then figure out the rest of that. Call in the Zoom meeting. <laughs> with a whiteboard. And yeah. And <laughs> okay. So we do this from and... here and that from there. <laughs> <laughs> and you do this and we do that. Take a screenshot so we can all remember. <laughs> so we do have the surgery and the travel that we have to figure out. We also have, I have been going to the chiropractor with my neck and back issues for a couple of months and the insurance has pretty much told me that they're not going to pay for any more. The doctor did submit some more paperwork to see if they'll change their mind, but I'm not counting on it. So we have to figure out if I can continue going to the chiropractor. So she gave me a quote for a cash visits. An adjustment would be $47 each. And then the therapy where they do the TENS machine and ice packs, that's $16 each or I can do a three pack of adjustments like a, a it, like for three of them I guess it's like buying a pack <laughs> <laughs> for one thirty three ninety five, and then the three therapy pack would be 45 so if I got three of each and a three pack of each it would be one seventy eight ninety five for just three visits which right now I'm going every other week. So that would be a month and a half. So I guess we have to figure out if we can afford that or if I have to maybe just go once a month or something, change it. But I don't think I'm ready to stop going to the chiropractor right now. I think I still need it. 
And then next up is I have outstanding balance for my physical therapy of $190. We need to pay that off. And my doctor suggested doing a sleep study, which I got the quote for that like two mm -hmm. weeks ago. That's going to cost $332. Yeah. Which I wasn't expecting. But I actually went on the insurance website and I was mm -hmm. looking at like getting a quote for this just to make sure that they were like giving me the right information from the place that's going to do the sleep study. There was actually another place that does sleep studies that was like half that price. So I don't know if I can get the sleep study at a place that's not associated with the doctor that I saw. So do you think I should try that? I, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'd, I'd say research into it and see if we can get it for cheaper. Because who knows, maybe the other sleep study is like the great value brand of sleep studies compared to the sleep <laughs> study that you'd be getting through. Right. It might not be the same type of sleep study. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, it, if there's that much of a variance, I'd try to figure out why. Okay. All right. Well, I guess yeah. I'll have to figure that. I'll have to go. I'll have to go figure that one out. Yeah. Because, like, you know, you're the medical person here. I'm not a medical person. Well, I'm like the car person. So... I'm, I'm the medical billing person. <laughs> I'm a medical coder. So I deal with, I don't, I mean, I've, I've billed for sleep studies before, but it's not like I've ever done them. I've studied you in your sleep. That sounds kind of creepy. It was. I was very <laughs> disturbed after you told me that. <laughs> <laughs> So we have in our medical savings account is 2550 mm -hmm. That's probably going to be what we need to dip into to dip into for just for his medical. And then that leaves us with nothing for all of the other medicals that we need to pay. The good thing about the balance that I'm carrying is we have at least 60 more days before we have to pay it off. So we can stretch it out if we need to and add that into our monthly budget. We do have $1,200 in our travel budget, mm -hmm. which should cover you going up there. Well, yeah, easily. Yeah. How much did the gas cost you last time? I still haven't looked that up. Oh, you did. You were... How am I supposed to give an informed podcast? When you haven't gotten the numbers well, together. Well, we'll guesstimate. Hold on. We'll Let guesstimate. Me... You, you, Isn't you... it on... Didn't we put it on one of the spreadsheets? No. For the budget? No, no, we did not. I uh, bet you I it's had in actually, Buxford. I had actually... It might be in Buxford. I don't know. I don't do Buxford. I know you don't. There's Tags. reasons. Yeah, there's reasons I have to because I can't keep track of anything manually. He does, actually, we both kind of manage a spreadsheet for our checking account, which is like our register, but I'm so used to using like a Quicken program where I can like hit a category and find out how much we spent, um, was it last year or the year before that you went? It was, well, when I went up to go pick him up was last summer. 2020? Yeah. So I so... have $210 in travel these were all transfers what the heck how is that oh that's because i pressed transfer not travel this dummy not... oh this was not the amounts this was how far i went okay hold on where's I'm my a, amounts I'm last year eight dollars no yep. it took me it cost me eight dollars in gas to get to Kentucky <laughs> i bet you it's under car fuel give me the amounts and i'll add them or you can just select them and add them up in your spreadsheet okay so 1358 okay 1590 mm -hmm. 2384 oh wait no that was snacks because gas was cheaper than snacks were <laughs> 1390 i thought i just did that one there was oh, another 1590. one 1590 Okay. Let's see. Sixteen nineteen. 
Mm-hmm. And I believe that was the only stops I had to make for gas. Okay, so that was only fifty nine bucks. And it was sixty yeah, about sixty bucks in gas. Okay. Now my car consumes oil, and it took about thirty dollars worth. Of- <laughs> oh. Okay, so we have to add third. <laughs> I have oil on hand. I'm not putting that in the budget. <laughs> Eventually, you'll have to replace it. Okay. Anyway, so we won't budget for oil. We will just budget so for that was last gas. year's gas prices. So yes, double it and add thirty. Double it and add thirty <laughs> times. So I'd say probably close to double. Just right. be on the safe so side. So if we did budgeted 125, it should be enough for me to get there okay. and back. Okay. <laughs> it was pretty sad last year. Yeah, the gas was cheaper than the snacks. That that was crazy. Usually never like that. Okay, so we have enough money in our travel budget for you to travel. Not a problem. Mm-hmm. We have some money set aside for medical. We just got to figure out how much we're going to need, which is kind of like up in the air still. Right. And, you know, it's also kind of contingent on being able to make payment plans with the hospital or right. doctor and stuff, too. Mm-hmm. So we might not have to hit right that all whole of thing that. All at yeah. Once. True. True. But it would just kind of nice to know, like, what we have on hand right now in case we needed to come up with a lump sum. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Okay. It itches. Okay, we'll itch and then we'll talk. Okay. <laughs> She's picking um, on me for scratching my beard. <laughs> I just don't want you to have to hear that. <laughs> it sounds kind of like this. Okay. Okay. What about the 190 that I owe for physical therapy? What do you want to do about that? So you have 60 days, right? Well, you have a total of 90 before it goes into so, collections, right. but I think it's already been 30. Okay. You get paid Friday. I get paid Monday. Okay. That's because you've already got that figured in for medical as a, a portion of it, at least, into the medical. Did I add that into the thing. medical for this one? I don't know if you added it into the medical. I did the 100 and... You, you did 120, I think. Mm-hmm. But it it went up to 190. Right. Because a new, a new bill came in. Okay, so, oh, and then speaking of new bills that com- come in. Okay, so first off, I had put it in the spreadsheet mm-hmm. for our monthly bills. Just to remember that we had to pay it, right? Right. Okay. But it needs to be assigned just like the, the Evans Hospital thing needs to be assigned to medical and not into normal bills. Right. So I guess what we can do is once we get paid, assess where we're at and see mm-hmm. how much we can pay towards those mm-hmm. at that time. I think we can probably do it. The paycheck I'm coming up na- on with now is the end of last month, which, which was, was a horrible month. Right. But then if they <laughs> get my pay adjusted like they were supposed to, I should have back pay <laughs> from last pay period and... My regular pay from this pay period, crossing my fingers that they got that worked out. So when I came back from furlough on my job, they reduced everybody's pay 10 to 15 percent. And last pay period, they finally reinstated us back to our normal pay. So, which equates to about 800 to a thousand dollars a month I was losing. I wasn't getting. And then with me being hurt and not able to work a full, it's just been kind of really low on the income lately (laughs) but hopefully things will start getting better because i'm able to work longer hours without being in too much pain so i'm hopeful but anyway so if i get my full pay like i'm supposed to plus the back pay hopefully that'll counter some of your lower pay for this hopefully yeah hopefully (laughs) some i mean I, i don't make as much as you but It'll help a little. Yeah, well, last month I didn't make as much as me either. (laughs) (laughs) You still made more than me. So, we're still going. If you start dipping down into my pay grade, then, I mean, we're we're having some serious trouble. (laughs) Uh. Should have seen my paychecks about six, seven years ago. Uh. Anyway. (laughs) The struggle. Yeah, yeah. 
So we can assess if we can pay either all of it or maybe just split it in half and pay half of what I owe for physical therapy. All right, so chiropractor. What are your thoughts on that? Mm, mm, I have a hard time adjusting to that price. <laughs> right. <laughs> A, thank you thank you very much I'll it's a big adjustment mm -hmm. from the copay <laughs> yes <laughs> um it's like well yeah. i mean per i mean well actually per visit if you do therapy and adjustment it's quite a significant jump it's like twice as a little it's more than twice as much oh. but i am going half as half as often <laughs> Way to build value. Way to build value. <laughs> See, we're really saving because I'm not going as... It might cost over twice as much, but we're really saving because I'm not going as much. <laughs> Half the stuff for twice the price. <laughs> but I'm only going half as often. <laughs> uh, yeah, I knew... I, this definitely couldn't be something I did weekly because at first i was going three times a week so it's 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 a hard thing for me to say anything about you know having the chiropractic bill there because it's kind of like you need to get fixed so <laughs> yeah I... I say no don't spend the money and don't get fixed when i know you need to get fixed well i know you wouldn't tell so, me not to go that's but right i wouldn't tell you not to go um, I'm just asking your thoughts on if you think we can manage it if I go every other week. So that would be a month and a half expense of 178 Um But obviously I'm going to have to pay up front. Every month and a half we'd have to pay. You're right. It'd be like trying to budget in for the water bill that comes out every other month. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, oh yeah, water's coming out this month. Damn, there's another hundred and eighty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you think we can swing it every other week? Not every other week. Maybe other every other month. Are you talking the bill, or are you talking the visits? I'm talking about <laughs> Your having my visits every other week. If. Honey, I want you to get fixed, so if you need to do that, then yeah. I know, but I feel bad because I always need to get fixed, and you never get to get fixed because I always have to be fixed. There's no fixing me. I'm broken, like, just 100%. <laughs> I'm just like, just he doesn't like go to the doctor anyway, so just it's like, not like... <laughs> just like our last podcast, I'm done. <laughs> I'm just, I'm done. You're done. <laughs> My hip, yep, it hurts. Done. <laughs> Knee, which one today? <laughs> oh, gosh. Shoulder, yeah, I have them. <laughs> they remind me. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh. <sighs> so, yeah, so I feel bad for having to need so much medical care. When you don't even go see the doctor, but it's not like you would actually go, would you? It's not that I'm asking to get fixed. I'm just asking for rest. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not in control of that because I don't. I don't employ you. <laughs> uh, I am trying to help you in other areas, so you can rest more. But see, I guess we have to pay money for me to get better so I can help you more. It's like a, it's a catch-22. It's like, do I pay money to get better so I can help him so he can rest? You know, and so I can work and make money? It's the circle of life. I'm not singing again. <laughs> that was good, honey. I liked no, it. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I can't carry those notes. <laughs> you did fine. Okay, so we went over, we have money that we can set aside for Jordan's medical bills. We have enough money in the travel expenses to cover travel. We're going to have to research the sleep study situation because I just have a hard time spending $332 on a test that may or may not tell me that I need a machine. 
to sleep. But then it's also, if I got better sleep, then I would have more energy and probably feel better. So, I don't know. It's catch-22 on that one, too. The physical therapy will assess after we get paid and either pay half or all of it, depending on... What we can do with... The money that the, we got in. Right, because we have theoretical amounts that we're going to get paid, but I don't like to make any concrete statements until I actually see the the money in the account. Yeah, because like people forget to like give you back your money. Or, and... you know, pay me for vacation days. Or, you know, take a month to actually give get you the your bonus. bonus. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So, uh, apparently our... Um... Our payroll department's are horrible. No, I wouldn't say <laughs> that for okay. mine. Not horrible, <laughs> but it just... lacking in efficiency and consistency. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine was because my manager forgot to uh, send the list of people who were furloughed to the payroll. So I wasn't the only one that was forgotten. So mm. I guess you know I can't feel too bad because I wasn't the only one. <laughs> Well, so. my my biggest beef about mine is that, you know, there's too many people that are in charge of handling payroll information in too many places where something can get, a ball can get dropped. Right. When everybody that's involved with payroll dealing with mine knows what my pay plan is, you know. Right. Knows if I take a vacation day or not. Right. You know, so I don't see where it should really get missed. Right. And plus you write it on a piece of paper that's yeah, supposed to every, go to them. Yeah. Every time, you know, at the in the beginning of the next pay period when they come around with the sheets of how much hours we've turned and this and that and the other, I always write a note of, okay, we made production bonus or, you know... I took a vacation day. <laughs> or vacation day this day or whatnot. And well with the vacation days, I have to fill out a personnel memo and send it in. So they should already have that <laughs> so anyway. So they have that. Yeah. You know somebody's and, not checking their And I saw proof of the fact that the personnel memo was scanned in and was sent the day after. Mm. So that was for the so somebody's not, day. yeah, somebody's not checking what they're supposed to check before they make payments. All right. So we would really like to know, like, how do y'all plan for unexpected expenses? Do y'all have savings accounts where you have money designated to certain things? Like for us, let me look, let me go look at our sinking funds because we have quite a few. So I don't remember what all they are. So for us, for us. For us and the us and the us and the us We have a child care category, which I don't need it as much anymore because I work from home and Noah is the only one that really can't. I mean, he's old enough now, but he was the only one the last couple of years that's needed child care. We didn't do camp last year because of COVID. But if he was to go to camp this summer, which he really likes to go to camp, so we need to, we that balance is zero. So we need to put some money in the child care slash camp fund. Then we have a an emergency fund, which is basically if we run out of all of our categories <laughs> <laughs> and we have no more money left, we will at least have $1,500. Then we want to get to the point where we have one month of bills in our savings account at all times. So, like, if someone gets furloughed, we have some money to carry us through until they get back to work or, you know, no. something happens. Which we're going to have to readdress that as we start moving some more of our debts away because those month bills include debt payments. Right. Yeah, we have to reassess that because we did get rid of some some debts. So I don't think we're close enough to getting rid no. of any more to... Yeah, we need to reassign what we've had. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking March is a good month to take off of, you know, reassigning for right now. Just because Yeah, because how... we have so many unexpected expenses. So that money is going towards our unexpected expenses. So last month we did some 
adjustments to our budgeting. Um, we had some subscriptions that we canceled. We used to do a wine club. club. And so we would put so much money into it every month. And when we had enough money, we would order a case of wine. Then we also had sling to, you know, get some... Basically, it was for the Walking Dead. Let's just let's but just that's be honest. Not the only thing that we used it for. <laughs> I mean, once we had it, then it was like, oh, this is nice. We have access to this, that, and the other. And then, oh, by the way, I want to have my what is that called again? I can never think of it. Guilty pleasure yeah. shows that are on MTV. <laughs> <laughs> so can we upgrade the package? Teen so, Mom. <laughs> teen Mom Two. <laughs> Teen Mom OG. Yep. <laughs> teen Spirit. No. <laughs> smells like it, at least. No, oh my gosh. Anyway, so, I don't know. Their, their lives are such a shit show. I just, it mm. makes me feel better about my life. Married at First Sight. Oh, yeah, Married at First Sight. That's just, that makes me feel really good about my husband. <laughs> it's the seven-year switch. Oh, God, that one's terrible. <laughs> It's just like a train wreck on top of a pile up on top of an airplane crash show. It landed on dog poop. Yeah, exactly. It's terrible. Oh. Anyway, what was I saying? I can't think we went down the rabbit hole. We were cutting down. Oh, yeah. So, Sling. We took out Sling. We did pay off some, some debts last month, so we have those minimum payments that we can redirect. So, we ha I don't even remember what the total was. I think I did a calculation. I, I know I've kept the numbers in the margins. You did, the... and then I did a total at some point. That's the category, but where is the redistribute the wealth? We don't have it in this one. It would be, It'd be in March? The No, January? the... I don't know. I don't know where you I know we in. had it somewhere. Okay. So the total that we have, the minimum payments of the debts that we've paid off and the subscriptions that we've canceled equals $585. Yep. That's that. I was shocked at that number. Now, of that $585, we recreated another 160 something dollars for a pet emergency visit. Right. And we also are going to need to use some of that towards paying for your renewals. Oh, right. For my, my AAPC membership. Yeah, the AAPC membership yeah. and then the parts for, for, the, car. for the car. Okay. So, so basically, we've already spent the money that we've right. saved. <laughs> now, mind you, last month, so we had paid towards debt to get rid of some of the, the debts. A total of $22.29.14. That's right. $2,229.14 was paid on top of our minimum payments last month. Right. To eliminate some of the recurring payments of some of the debts what did we pay off we paid off the bed because right. we had we we have a sleep number bed so we were we were nearing the end of yeah we the, had like four or five months left on those and then um, i think it was like sixteen hundred dollars total was what was left on the sleep number bed right so we we paid that off and uh, then we paid off my 401k loan right she she had a 401k loan that we had to take out for previous pet medical expenses. Right. Then we had another pet medical expense that we paid off last month. Yeah, with in in this debt extra yeah. included in that debt extra. Right. So Yeah, we we, ha we only have 30 days to pay off this last one cuz it's under $200. So we have 30 days to pay off the current pet medical expense emergency room visit which we have pet medical insurance so i do need to file the claim for this year the the previous one was from last year so but we have a deductible but it'll go to the deductible so we we decided after our 
our newest dog, which we got almost three years ago. Mm-hmm. This summer will be three years. When he ate a sock and it cost us $5,000 for surgery. Yes, $5,000 to get the sock removed. We were like, um, we need pet medical insurance. <laughs> and so we've had it since. And thankfully, knock on wood, we have not had to use a, a lot of it. We also have the care credit card, yeah. which helps to, it's a, was it zero? It is. It's deferred interest. So if you pay it off within the allotted time, you don't incur any interest. So like the five thousand dollar one, we had six months to pay. Or no, it was twelve months on that one. Uh, I think it was a six month. I think that one was six months before mm-hmm. interest was accrued. But before, I think we you were only like two months into it when you took the 401k loan to pay it off because you paid that off and something else off oh it was a credit card so i had taken out that loan to pay off one other credit card and to pay off the care credit Mm -hmm. because we weren't going to be able to pay it off in five six months so instead of incurring the interest we paid it off with a 401k loan so I could pay myself back over, I think it was three years, two years, three years. If we got the dog three years ago, almost, and we hadn't paid it off yet, it's almost been three years yeah. since the surgery. So, so it must it have been, been a three-year a three year loan. Instead of getting hit with 24% interest. And you paid the, yourself back 5 I, point something percent interest. I did. I did. <laughs> so I think I thought that was a pretty good, you know, use of the money. So it worked out. And then all we have left on debt is two vehicles and our security system for the devices, yeah, for, the, for, hardware our, for it. the hardware for it, which I'm very thankful that we purchased that security system. It makes me feel a lot safer. So anyway, so we're down to three debts plus our house and we keep making headway every month, some months more. I mean, basically we got our our stimulus check and our stimulus check help us pay off some debts is what that that was yeah so the next stimulus check may be going may be going to medical (laughs) i don't know i don't know about that one so either we need to have a co-parenting powwow or you need to talk to stacy about how she wants to handle the medical bills because I think it's important for us to, you know. Yeah, we well, we all need to figure it out and yeah. be on the same page. Right. And... Right. And we don't want to stick her with all of the bills. No, I'm not expecting to. I hope she's not expecting that I'm planning that. Right. Stacy, we're not going to do that to you. I, I know how it feels to have to deal with things all on your own. And it can get hard. So... I don't ever want to do that to any other co-parent. But that's a story for another day. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So to wrap it up, we are going to get paid, figure out how much of the physical therapy bill we can cover. I'm going to continue to go to the chiropractor and I'm going to do the three for special. And I'm going to go every other week to try and spread it out to where it doesn't cost nearly as much money. Then we have money to cover the medical bills. We just have to talk to Stacy and figure out how we're splitting it. And if, you know, hopefully we can set up a payment plan with the medical peoples. Yeah. When all is said and done. And then just do a monthly plan and add that into our monthly medical budget then we do we know now we know we have enough money to go for you to go up to jordan to visit for his surgery and the sleep study i have to research if i can get it cheaper you have a question jordan's having a surgery oh my goodness some people just don't hear things that get discussed and talked about well because nobody's ever in the same room at the same time and we 
think we tell everybody because there's multiple people in the room, but then we don't realize that somebody's not in the room. And then we think we've told everybody because we've said it five times and then, or somebody doesn't listen. Because I'm pretty sure it was also discussed during like, you know, the festivities of yesterday. and Right. Because I did tell my mom that Jordan needed surgery. Yeah, you probably didn't hear. So. But yes, Jordan needs to have surgery. He's having gallbladder issues, so he has to have surgery to remove it. So Jeremy is going to go see him when he has a surgery to be there for him. So y'all will be stuck with mom cooking. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I'm glad that was your answer. <laughs> Jeremy does... 99, 95% of the cooking. Actually, thankfully, since Colin does a day a week, usually, you know, it, the, mm -hmm. the percentage drops a little bit, and that's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will cook every once in a blue moon. <laughs> I am thankful for I that know. blue moon. <laughs> I don't want to drink the blue moon, but, you know. <laughs> Do we have actual blood moons? Blood moons? I mean, like, when they're, like, Look like they're on fire. When they're red. When they're red. Yeah. I can't remember if I've ever seen a red moon. I know I've seen like the really. Have you seen red skies? Red skies, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> what is it? Red? My 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 moon knowledge is very low. Is it red night? <laughs> red skies at night, sailors' delight, or is it? I don't think. Um, that's not right. Red skies means dying? I don't know. No. We'll have to Google that. No. I don't remember. It's just one of those things. I've never been a sailor, so I can't say. So, yeah. <laughs> we would love to hear from you how y'all budget unexpected. Do y'all have sinking funds or deferred savings or whatever you want to call it? Do you... Like, so our medical, we're trying to get to the point where we have our deductible in savings. So when we do have to pay large sums, we just can pay it off and then save up again. So we always have our deductible in the account, but that's a work in progress. So do y'all, do y'all do that? Do y'all put things, you know, that are coming up into a savings account? Oh, I didn't go through all of the sinking funds. Oh. Okay. Let's try that again. So we have the child care sinking fund. We have an emergency fund. We went through the, the monthly bills. Which is where we got sidetracked. We got sidetracked on that one. Rabbit hold. <laughs> the squirrel. <laughs> ADHD at its finest. Then we have a car repair fund. A car replace fund. We just bought a vehicle not too long ago, so that fund is zero. When we fund some other stuff, then we'll be able to start replacing that car replace fund again. Then we have a clothing fund for large clothes purchases. Or school uniforms and stuff like that. Yeah, that come up every year. School supplies, which... That usually entails, like, field trips and stuff, too. That's at 88 cents now. <laughs> well, COVID-19 equals no field trips. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> and we only have one child in public school right now, so the supplies that we need are minimal. That would be me. Mm-hmm. Then we have a renovation budget. We have some things that we need to update in our house. So we are putting money away for that. We have a travel fund for either unexpected travel or it was actually supposed to be like a vacation fund, but we didn't go on vacation last year. Then we have a retire fund on top of our 401ks. So we can have like, it's actually supposed to be like a semi-retire fund for Jeremy to stop being a mechanic to do something else he wants to do in life, which he doesn't know what that is yet. Anything. Anything. <laughs> Throw me some suggestions. Yeah, yeah. If you have some uh, some late life 
midlife. Uh, <laughs> late, late life. Late <laughs> Sorry, honey. <laughs> so, I'm good with my hands. I'm good with analytical thinking, and I'm quite sarcastic. So I'm <laughs> thinking. I'm thinking I want to go somewhere in the field where sarcasm is a plus and rewarded. I mean, oh. hopefully this podcast will. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll reap the benefits of your sarcasm. <laughs> Pat on the back didn't count. <laughs> Cash and fist. Cash and fist. Oh, okay. So the semi-retirement, yeah. So if you have any suggestions for a midlife career change... So I told him he should go into IT because he's very knowledgeable on that stuff. But I don't know if that's what he wants to do. I don't know. I don't know. I've been locked in this for so long I forget what else is out there. So, Well, we just have to watch more YouTube videos to give you some ideas. There you go. No. <laughs> We've watched too many videos. I'm getting annoyed by YouTube now. You know what? That's how I feel when you watch your videos. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's payback, dude. <laughs> no, it isn't. At least I you're learning some... something from our YouTube videos. I'm learning some stuff. Something that can be applied in, you know, Real life. practical. Yeah, I know. Not in, not on no, your... No, I watch some... Real... Yes, yeah, some videos. Vlogs. Huh? Why are we having this in the podcast? I don't know. Anyway, so we also, so the semi-retirement fund. We also have a general fund. Is that the fund where all of we our interest goes? Yes, that is where we <laughs> pile our interest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, our whopping dollar two percent, point two 0.2% interest or whatever that we get. Yeah. And then the medical health savings account. That, we also have that. So those are our sinking quote-unquote sinking funds there she goes again with the quotes i did the air quotes again <laughs> i don't know it's it's like... mom it's a podcast not a video they can't see i know i've already discussed this with them <laughs> i could hear the air quotes without her having to say quote i could i had my eyes closed i just knew she air quoted can you hear them i'm making them <laughs> <laughs> no, because you've got no content in between them. <laughs> Are you saying my head is empty? <laughs> Are you calling me a cotton head? No, you can't air quote you saying that there I'm making air quotes. It's just... <laughs> You said you could hear was, them. I could, I could hear them prior to you oh, pointing out that you are you making talking them... about my inflection? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Okay. I mean, you can't hear. I mean, my my fingers do crack every once in a while, but you can't hear the air quotes. My fingers don't crack anymore. Really? Yeah, I they're just been able to get my knuckles basically to crack fused like... together with arthritis. <laughs> Fused or the gaps are way too large for them to <laughs> they ventilate on their own gases out <laughs> self-ventilating knuckles well this podcast went crazy um, escalated quickly <laughs> or de-escalated <laughs> okay so yeah I don't know this is kind of a totally random a mixed this a thing mixed. is not going to be anywhere near what it is now after it's edited <laughs> right a i'm going to make podcast. A, a mixed bag you get a mixed bag when you get us mixed nuts is why, don't we just... <laughs> why don't we just keep this in <laughs> all the side I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll think about it blooper reel <laughs> blooper reel so i don't know <laughs> We're done. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be your closing from now. We're That's done. Right. <laughs> what was the closing last? Time? I don't know. Like, uh, see you next time? Um, no, can't. They have to hear us next time. Have a great day. And we hope that you return to our next episode where we'll, we'll figure, figure it out. out.